painting caduceus clay. It's time to paint caduceus clay. Hey, my name is Troy and welcome to Facility D20. Before I get to paint and caduceus clay, the first thing I need to do is look at some reference pictures, try to figure out what I'm going to do for this paint scheme and try to wrap my mind around it, gather my paints together and then, hey, get at it. This is a really detailed mini. Should be fun to paint. Loaded some matte black into my airbrush. Lay down a thin primer coat. Use a little wolf gray to do some pre shading. Then accidentally oversprayed the Vallejo Silver. Pretty much making my pre shading pointless. It's time to bust out the wet palette and my good paintbrushes. I grabbed a couple of glazes, mixed them together, and started to wash it thinly over the silver armor. Apply the second coat. And then finally work my way up to the third coat. After three coats, I was happy with the look. Next, I added some satin varnish over this armor just to give it a little bit of sheen. I also used skeleton bone to give a base coat to the shirt underneath the armor. So guys, I have a Patreon if you want to check it out, I'll link it at the end of the video. We've got some exclusive videos, polls, a lot of fun stuff over there, check it out. You can see I painted the trunks with Cayman Green and then I use all these colors that I layered up to start highlighting the shirt. Working up from the darkest to the lightest. Finally, I went in with some white and just highlighted in a downward motion to try to add a little bit of texture to this shirt while also adding some highlights. Then I used some camouflage green and just hit all the high points on the pants. This acted as my first layer of highlights. So these are the greens I use on the trunks. And I work my way up with some Thraka Green washes. Very thin down coats of Thraka Green. Then finally after three coats, this was the final result. Next up, I used some Earth Vallejo Game Air and laid down the base coat for all the leather bits. Belt, bags, whatever was leather. Use some skeleton bone and just dry brush the wooden staff. Then use some earth shade wash and I washed all the leather bits two times with very light coats.
went back in with the brown earth and just picked out some highlights and the belts and bags. Give the sapia a good shake. And then I washed all the leather bits in sapia and I washed the staff three times with sapia. And it was back to the wolf gray. And I just gave all the skin and hair a base coat of wolf gray to get rid of that silver. So guys, if you're digging this video, go ahead and smack that subscribe button. I love to have you along on this little community I'm growing. You can hear the 3D printer going in the background because we're always making cool stuff here in the facility. Well, so far this guy's coming out pretty good. I'm happy with him. Not 100%, but let's call it 90. But the best part is coming up because I'm going to go in now and I'm going to pick out the details, all these pink flowers on his chest plate. And I'm really looking forward to that. So let's get at it. Then I used some pixie dust pink and I just gently painted all these little flower petals on his armor. It might be mold, but I'm calling them flower petals. Then I used some flesh shade and just washed all the pink areas that I just painted. And I used some white and pink mixture and just highlighted up all those flowers. So guys, let me know in the comments who's your favorite character from Campaign 1 and Campaign 2. I'd love to get an idea of what everybody's favorite character was. Once that was done, I just a little light coat of pixie dust pink to do the hair. Then I used some Gilliman Blue Glaze to just hit this silver shawl on his arm. Then I dry brushed it with the silver afterwards. A little no oil to hit all the flesh areas or the fur areas so I can give some depth to my layering. Again with the wolf gray and just layered up all the flesh shades here on his face. So guys, if you're liking that video, smash the like button. If you're a critter, specifically smash that like button. I want to see how many critters are watching this video. Thanks, guys. Went back in with a really watered down pixie dust pink to give his hair fade and his goatee. Then some Warlock Purple. Slowly and carefully got in there and got those eyeballs painted. Then some Cayman Green to freehand these little swirly lines on the pants. These are very subtle, but they're in there if you look close enough. Then a little bit of Waywatcher Green Glaze just to kind of shade down those squiggly lines. And finally I hit it with some satin and some matte varnishes on different areas of the model. Overall, I'm pleased with this guy. If I had my time back, I probably wouldn't have used those varnishes on his pants. It didn't really add anything and I think it kind of took away from the model. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos on my channel. We're always making cool stuff here in the facility.